These are the Japanese wineberries. Uh, they're at the bottom of my allotment, quite a damp area. And uh, I only put about five plants in about a year ago, two years ago, two years ago. And now they've spread like this. About seven feet tall, eight meters across, and lots of fruit. I think we've probably picked about 10 pounds of fruit from it this year. And the, the fruiting season, which is uh, just, just in, like, in the middle now, it's the end of August, and uh, they're quite fiddly to pick. They're crossed between a red currant and a raspberry, a little bit like a blackberry, and you can, you know, eat them raw, lovely eaten raw, and uh, uh, they can be they can be cooked. You can make wine with apparently. Um, let's see if we can zoom in on one here. We're coming into it somewhere about there, and um, they're very nice fruit. Over here, they make quite a good windbreak, and I'm going to move some of these across to the area along here, which is where the prevailing wind comes from. And rather than having those Jerusalem artichokes, I'm going to be putting wine bris along there, and uh, have to have to put them about. A meter or a meter and a half away from the border because they'll they'll spread over to um, to the fence they they propagate themselves by um, sort of putting up suckers and also when the these these long fronds hit the ground um, they set roots so they're very easy to propagate and uh, quite a nice plant The redder they are, the sweeter they are. So um, you can eat them when they're sort of orangey, but they go uh, that, that sort of red, scarlet, and then later on they, they get more sort of maroon when they're really sweet. Um, they don't get any pests, really. They just get a few aphids stick on them a little bit. These little stars, they're the flowers and uh, the bees come along and fertilize the flowers there's a little flower there look and here's a here's a really red one a really um maroony one that and that will that one will be really ripe and they just pull off very easily like that and uh helen's picking them over there show the basket helen of the fruit look at that how oh yes there we go that's the fruit um so the um, these these petals, going back to the flower, when the fruit comes out, they, they they sort of close up like that and protect the fruit, and then as the fruit when the fruit ripens, they open and they. Oh, here we are. Yeah, that one. They uh, they reveal the the fruit, which starts off sort of like orangey colour, and then um, goes to the scarlet and then maroon and absolutely gorgeous anything else we need to say Helen about the fruits I was going to say about the prickles the prickles aren't as big as the prickles on a blackberry bush so they're, they're not as vicious it's got they've got these sort of hairs which I think stop creatures like um, caterpillars etc or slugs actually climbing up to the fruit so you never actually find a, a slug or a caterpillar even a fly ring on the fruit they also they're slightly sort of sticky to the finger i don't know whether the the bugs don't like that so when the they're really ripe they just they just if you go to pick it they just fall off so you don't get sort of moldy ones on the on the bushes so this is the new wonder fruit japanese wineberries and i'm sure they must be full of antioxidants look at these down here Look at those, they're really ripe ones. If I can get the camera to do it. This is only a very small camera. Ooh, yum yum. <laughs>